Hey guys, today we're going to get some more practice on finding a quadratic equation when given the roots and a point. So if I said to you that I'm thinking of a quadratic equation with its roots at 3 and negative 4, and that one of the points on the parabola is 2, negative 1, how would you go about finding the quadratic equation? Well, let's start off with the idea of being given the roots. What does it mean when 3 and negative 4 are our roots or our zeros? What this means is that when x is equal to 3 or negative 4, y will equal 0. So now that we have a good visualization of this problem, let's organize the given information so far. In the factored form of the quadratic equation, this becomes very simple. If we wrote the equation like this, then we'd have our zeros represented correctly. Notice how when we let x equal 3, this here equals to 0, and since these are being multiplied by 0, we'd be getting a y equals 0 situation. Great! And also, notice how when we let x equal to negative 4, this here equals 0, giving us a final result of y equals 0 as well. So as you can see, our roots are represented correctly, but how do we find out what the a is in this equation? Well, this equation now has three variables, an a, an x, and a y. Alright, and since we've been given a point on the parabola, if we were to substitute its x and y into this equation, we'd be left with just one variable, making it obvious what the value of a is. So if we plug in 2 for x and negative 1 for y, we'd get the following. Simplifying this gives us this. Now if we divide negative 6 from both sides, we get negative 1 over negative 6 equals to a. Further simplifying gives us a final value of a equals 1 over 6. So all we have to do now is substitute our newfound a value into our factored form, and we'd get y equals 1 over 6 times x minus 3 times x plus 4. And there's our quadratic equation. Awesome! Now that you know how to find the quadratic equation when given the roots and a point of a parabola, we encourage you to try out some more questions. So that's it for this lesson, guys, and we will see you in the next one.